Are you tired of getting killed by 30 million Ooh. bounty kitsune spammers? Well, this breakdown is the biggest and most comprehensive one the Blocks Roof Bandits have ever done. Not only are we going to cover the ins and outs of kitsune and how you can use it to its full potential and even counter it, but I researched some of the best PvP YouTubers combos and made counters to each one so you can choose your own adventure. Do you want to be the strongest kitsune user in Blocks Roofs? Or would you rather learn how to counter kitsune so your pay-to-win friend thinks you're hacking when you take their bounty? This video has got you covered with another official Blocks Roof Bandits breakdown. This channel is it's all about getting into the nitty gritty, the deep details, the nerds. Let's get things started. Kitsune has rocked the world since it dropped. Let's talk pros and cons to the fruit. 4,000 Robux and you got yourself a strong fruit with instinct breaks, combo starters, large hitboxes, insane speed, especially with pilot helmet. It's crazy. The transformation is a whole different beast because not only does it increase your speed by a crazy amount, you have M1s that can interrupt, stun, and can be used in between your ability. The tail system is an interesting take on Fury because it goes up when you land Kitsune moves, but goes Goes down when you miss. Just like Dragon or Venom, the transformation makes all your moves even stronger, so stay tuned for a massive breakdown. Now cons-wise, while there are combo starters, they aren't 100% predictable as far as where the opponents will get stunned. Plus, Kentrick windows make them difficult to guarantee a combo. While the speed is just crazy, the large hitbox transformation can make it easier for you to get combo, especially since the damage reduction on transform is only 20%. We'll take advantage of each of these weaknesses to show how Kitsune is beatable. So here's the structure of the video. We're going to break down each move, untransform first, talk about uses, and even counters, then we'll cover the transform moves the exact same way. Remember, with ghoul or accessories, the cooldowns are all subject to change, so we'll just talk about base cooldowns because keeping track of your opponent's cooldowns is how you win at high level 1v1 PvP. With that in mind, let's go! Starting things off with untransformed Kitsune. One of the really cool mechanics is the tail Sonic! system. The tails are a fury meter, kind of like Venom or like Dragon, but each additional tail gives you additional passive buffs. Two tails increases your movement speed by 100%, gives you a cool dash animation, and when you run, you actually run on all fours. So it's easy to see that this is happening because you'll see the character model change and the dash speed will be crazy. This is extremely powerful because you don't even need pilot helmet or even mink to have a crazy amount of speed. So this can allow for you to be kind of creative with your accessory. For example, Kitsune Ribbon can be really strong, giving you additional dash speed, a shorter cooldown on flash step, and so this gives you an option to switch from your normal pilot helmet or even something like Hunter Cape. You can be a little more creative with your accessories. Now, Three Tails gives you blue orbs that deal damage over over time whenever you land any of your kitsune m1s or your moves this is really where kitsune shines because these blue orbs that deal damage over time one break instant and two if you're charging a move that damage over time will interrupt that charge so this is really where kitsune shines is being able to recognize when you have three tails and then use them to apply this debuff because that way your opponent will have a lot less options both offensively and defensively so keep that in mind let's talk quickly about the m1s these things are rough the hitbox is a little hard to understand at first, but combined with three tails, these things are strong. They keep your opponent in place and apply burns with those three tails, and that's where it really shines. The M1s let you maintain vertical height too, until the last slam if you spam it. Also, the M1s keep your opponent stuck, even if they flash step, and you can spam moves between clicks, so please pop your instinct. Now moving on to Kitsune Z. Kitsune Z, when you actually land it on them, sends out a projectile that attaches to your opponent and burns them after 3 seconds. Kitsune Z's cooldown is 9 seconds. There's no initial stun or impact to the move when you land it, but once the actual flames deal damage to the opponent, their movement is impacted slightly. The damage unfortunately is not Kentrickable, so if they land this on you, you're pretty much out of options, it's going to be guaranteed damage unless you have something like Portal X. Now if the move lands near you but not directly on you, it instead explodes with 3 different explosions and those explosions send you upward. Those explosions do break instinct. It's not a really strong combo starter, but it's a good way to get additional damage because it's pretty much instant cast, very easy to aim near or at them, and it's a good way to add some additional damage into your combo. Moving on to Kitsune X. Kitsune X is a move that sends out a saw blade that hits the three nearest opponents in a cone in front of you. It's got a cooldown of about 12 seconds. It's super easy to land because the auto aim property. It zigzags three times then stuns the opponent in place at the end for damage. Super good combo starter here, especially if the instinct is down. Now it's really easy to aim if you're near the opponent. If they're anywhere near you and in front of you, then this move will pretty much auto aim and auto track to them. But if they are a little bit further, they need to be in the zigzag path. You can also aim this move upwards if you wanted to stun them upwards or catch them when they're above you. The saw blade itself can be Kendra, and you can escape the stun from there. And this move does not break instinct, so it is somewhat easy to dodge. And defense wise, you're going to need the Kentrick this. If you do get hit with the initial move, you do want to press E, it will keep you in place 
slightly, but you should be able to dash out of this. And this is really important to Kendrick because it's one of Kitsune's strongest combo extenders or even combo starter. You know we got some spicy discoveries for you. If they're slow on the follow-up, you can Kendrick and hit them with a ranged move. It has to be ranged though because you can't move while in this move as seen here with God Human Z. But if you Kendrick, you can use something like Fox Lamp Z or God Human X to hit them with a quick ranged punish. If they're quick though, they might be able to hit you with a follow-up, but this should interrupt their game plan, which is nice because they'll have Kitsune X on cooldown. All right, it's time for Kitsune C. Kitsune C is a long range flame that explodes about half a second after it lands. It has a cooldown of about 15 seconds and it's a long range AOE that works as a massive poke. It's the longest range poke in the Kitsune toolkit. It's similar to Shark Anchor Z in size, but it doesn't knock up as high. The AOE does vacuum in slightly at a certain range and then explodes from the center. The range is really solid. It goes past the grid behind Sky Castle. It has a decent vertical range, but it's not as large as the visuals indicate. There's very little end lag on the move, making it really difficult to punish, but easy to combo from. If you're on the edge of the move, you get sent outwards though, instead of upwards. Defense wise, you gotta remember this. It does break instinct on hit, but you can Ken trick the move. You gotta Ken trick this move because it can be a solid combo starter, especially with spiky trident. So Ken trick as soon as the move lands, but before the explosion, and you can dash away safely, or even punish with something like Fox Lamp Z. This is super important, otherwise it'll set up the Kitsune user for some devastating combos or poke damage. So again, keep your instinct down when the move lands, and then Ken trick before the explosion. Finally, Kitsune F. Kitsune F dashes forward, and if it hits, it slashes the opponent multiple times and sends them slightly back. It's an excellent combo starter, and especially a combo extender, because you can act immediately after the move. Kitsune F can be instinct dodge, but if it hits, the slashes do break instinct, so you cannot Ken trick this. Don't Ken trick this. The range is about half of the Sea Castle grid, and it works great with three tails to apply the burn debuff. The vertical range is not that forgiving, but horizontally, it has a good amount of scoop. It's an excellent combo starter or extender, like I said, but especially after God Human C. That's one of the big bread and butter combo extenders that you see a lot of YouTubers using. So defense recap, this move is a common combo extender. So learn where the opponent uses this in a combo, pop your instinct to avoid it at that time. If you do get hit, you gotta accept your fate. Don't press E or it'll pop your instinct. All right, so that's a really quick rundown of untransformed Kitsune. Time for combos. So I decided to check out YouTube to see who had some crazy Kitsune combos on day one. And while I was editing this video, Hyper J posted a video using a lot of the same combos. So shout out to Hyper J for just being a W content creator in general. So just wanna shout him out as well as all the combo creators. First up is a godlike combo from Saya. Great PvP content creator. Check him out if you haven't. Charge God Human C into Kitsune C, into Spiky Trident X, into God Human X, into Kitsune F. Then you look up in God Human Z, into Kitsune X, into Kitsune Z. So to counter Psyox combo, save your Kentrick until after Kitsune C lands to Kentrick the explosion. Plus, it'll save you from Spiky Trident X if you're a little bit late. And the best part about it is if you do Kentrick at that time, they have no God Human C, no Kitsune C, and no Spiky Trident X. So a lot of their tools are gone from their token. Okay. Next combo is from Long R, and honestly, shout out to them. This is probably my favorite combo out of the bunch, so really appreciate this combo. Charge God Human C into Kitsune F, into God Human Z instantly into Kitsune X, Kitsune Z, Kitsune C, and then God Human X for the finisher. This is a great combo. As you can see, I'm going to use this in a lot of the 1v1s, and a counter this one. Just like the traditional spiky trident combo, Pop can right after God Human C punches you and sends you backwards. This will dodge the Kitsune F, and you can turn around and punish if you're fast enough. And the last combo is from Kelia, and shout out to Hyper J for showing us Kelia's content. Kitsune C into Kitsune F, followed by Spiky Trident Z into Spiky Trident X, right into God Human Z, God Human X, and God Human C for the finisher. Kitsune C lands pretty often, so this is a great one. Save your Ken for Kitsune C as it lands and dodge left or right. This will Ken the explosion and move you out of the way. But if you're late for the Ken trick, it'll dodge Kitsune F and Kitsune Z all in one, so it's perfect. For this round of PvP, I'm going to be showing you the power of Kitsune myself. Just learned it day one. Let's see how this goes. All right, this time for the PvP, we're doing something a little bit different. We've been doing random 1v1 PvP but let's do something traditional, legitimate. Let's do a tournament set. We're gonna do a tournament set against Frog from Europe. Best of five, and the first two rounds are gonna be on Frog's server. We're running at about 200 ping, and let me tell you, we feel it, especially this first round. But let's run it. The first match starts, and Frog gets a nice Quake feed. Pop Cyborg V3 into God Human Z, so I pop my V3. I get out of his Quake Z and eat a Tsunami ASAP while V3 is still up. Fox Lamp X is a bit short. I try to poke with Kitsune C and hit, and it hits, and I toss out Z for damage, but X is too far away. Dash dance a bit and flash step God Human C into F does not work at this ping, which really sucks. I just need to mash harder. I got human X, but aim a little low. Poke with a few Fox Lamp and Kabucha moves and stay in close range. I see him jumping though, so I know he wants Quake V, so I hit him with Kitsune C. Get the X, but he can tricks and punishes with Quake V as I expected. Our V3s are up and I get a lucky flash step out of his combo. God human C is a bit short and I eat his tsunami. Hockey on, but he can tricks my Fox Lamp barely. I hit him out of Soul Guitar and we reset to neutral. Kitsune C was a bit short, so I stay in his space. Hail Mary a Kitsune X. Miss C, but get a God human X into C. He disengages so I poke and try to finish, but I 
miss a flash step as he jumps, anticipating the quick V and he whiffs him. But Kentrick the X can get a super lucky Fox Lamp Z, but I can't Ken due to the tsunamis. I kabucha Z to cut off his movement to the right and got human C, but it's short and Kitsune F gets punished. Kitsune C though in the Z is just enough to take game one and we take them. Alright, game two on the same ping. He starts off in the air and hits his Quake V, but couldn't follow up. I got human C, but the lag makes me miss F again, which sucks. I hit him with a prediction C, and he retaliates with Shark Z. But I get off Kitsune Z before it connects, and it hits him a few seconds later when he misses Shark X. He's still in the air, so I get ready for Quake V, so I Fox Z into X, but Soul Guitar interrupts. God human C into F finally works, but I miss God human Z. We reset the neutral, but he's on the run. I flash step to stay in his space and bait out the Quake V, and he catches me somehow in Shark Anchor Z. But I dodge his follow up. The tsunamis hit, I I reorient myself and catch him with a Kabucha X into God Human C through Soul Guitar into God Human X and Fox Lamp for the round two W. And the best part about it is now it's time to jump to my server. Round three, and it's my ping. I Fox X to blind him and approach, but that was stupid because I didn't react to a standard Quake V opener. I eat the punish of a sentry. V3 kills that Kentrick, and I live with 1k health. And that's only because of Fox Ribbon's 10% damage reduction. I'm telling you, the options with this fruit are awesome. Tsunami hits, but now it's my turn. God Human C into Fox F into God Human Z. Kits an AC. Kitsune X and Z right in the God Human X snipe. Thanks for the combo, Long R. And Kitsune takes the set. GG's frog. Tournament sets. Let me know if you like them. Now that you saw me try day one Kitsune, let's switch it up. This time we're fighting Kuro, an overall W human. Absolute beast of a player. 30 million bounty. I'm excited for this fight. Kuro's gonna be using Kitsune. And I'm gonna see if I can use what we talked about to counter Kitsune. So I'm a noob and I forgot to record the first round. So we're gonna start this set down 0 1 against Kuro. So just trust me. We're playing on some random 150 millisecond ping through the whole set so it's not ideal start things off game two starting things off with some pokes fox lamp x lands but Kuro is good and ken's out before portal z can hit Kuro catches with god human c but no follow-up i got human c in retaliation and try to m1 but my nerves are getting the best of me i stay in Kuro's space with portal x to learn some habits but i stay for too long e to god human x but i dodge the z with instinct i'm not that bad either i try to punish with fox lamp but i just barely miss i reposition with x but eat an x of my own luckily i can trick and this causes Kuro to miss the god human c follow -up. portal x as the kitsune c comes off and with both both Portal Z and God Human Z. I use God Human Z to reposition, but nerves are getting the best of me and I miss everything. Third Bow Z hits, and I realize we're both at full HP. Portal X escape hits, and I get my bread and butter out. Kuro's 10 is down, but I miss the God Human Z. Kuro Cyborg V3s, but too much damage has already been done. I get caught with Kitsune X, but I can trick out. God Human Z into Spiky X hits me, so I can and retaliate with Fox Lamp X, and Kuro is so low. I just need to land something. I Portal X to cause some panic, flash step reposition, but I can't seal the deal. I'm not proud of it, but God Human Z does what it does best, and gets me on the board. Game three. I'm sweating. Pro and I mirror match. A sit versus a sit I get the high ground and eat a god human C and retaliate with my own god human C, but I miss my M1. Fox Lamp is out and I shoot for it, but miss both moves. Reposition and Hail Mary a god human X. Portal X to get into Pro's space and Pro aggressively god human X's. I try to sit him Z since Pro weirdly flashed that forward, but miss. Hits me with Spiky X and stops my Kentrick of Kitsune X with the sit X, which is super smart, Pro. Kitsune C hits, but I portal M1 out to reset neutral. God human C hits, but I miss Fox Lamp Z. Portal X react to the flash step and dash back the god human x into fox lamp x and i hit m1's beautiful and pearl pops v3 god human c misses i miss spiky x misses this game three's wild kitsune c hits and i try to ken but too late and ken the god human z kitsune z interrupts my god human c and pearl beautifully punishes with god human x but i can the acidum m1 i end up using portal x and getting out just in time to portal z but i was slow enough to eat a kitsune c for the l it's 2-1 pearl's favor game four and it's time to see if i've got the power of mk leo in my veins aerial fox Z misses, but I learned my lesson and flashed up before God Human C hits. Adaptation at its finest. I try to fox X where I think Pearl will be, but I'm wrong. So I portal X and Asida moves her down. Bread and butter time and Pearl cans my God Human Z damage beautifully. I got Human C, but it's just not enough. I need one more hit and I get desperate. I flash step fox lamp while Pearl cyborg v 3 hit God Human X, but the damage reduction keeps Pearl alive. I eat God Human X and see God Human C charging, so I portal X. Pearl pops Asida Z to cover my approach and God Human C takes the W to tie us up again. 2 2. And this is game point. Game 5. Start things off. I catch with Fox Lamp Z, but miss Portal Z due to a crazy unlucky move and get punished for the overcommit with a Kitsune X into C. We can flash those. Come on. Flick God Human C, but miss the M1. Game 5 nerves are real and I'm feeling it. Portal X to see what Puro does, and I Z to the right to reposition. Get dangerously close, and Puro throws the Kitsune X, but I'm just far enough where the auto aim does not work. I play around Portal F a bit and dash away from Kitsune C. Reset neutral. I burn Fox Lamp to stop my momentum from getting hit by Serpent Z. Mid range Portal Z hits, and I get a decent punish with the Sism Z, but Puro gets out before I can do anything substantial. I reposition position with God Human Z and eat a Kitsune F into Z. Somehow Fox Lamp hits Puro even though I missed and Puro burns Cyborg V3 and now 
power in business. But I whiff Portal Z. And <laughs> Pearl punishes with Kitsune C into Soul Cane Z, but misses the follow up, so we reposition. I hit Fox C and predict where Pearl gets sent with the Sydney Z into X, into God Human X for the set. GG's Pearl. That was fun. But one thing we didn't test was the transformation. Maybe we should run a few transformations. Oh, God. What the f? How did it hit me, bro? What the f? Okay. Uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, uh,. I guess let's just break this down. Okay, the good thing is the moves are fairly similar. When you first pop transformation, it creates an AOE blast that does damage and breaks instinct. Transform Kitsune Z. Transform Kitsune Z is a dash. If you hit them, it knocks the opponent back and shoots a blast at them that breaks Ken. If you miss them, there's an AOE splash that Ken breaks. If you do get hit, you can Ken the damage, but the blast will break Ken. You might as well keep your instinct off. But pay attention to the animation here. When Kitsune misses and it's going to do a Ken break, the Kitsune user does a 360 right before the AOE Kitsune spread. So you can drop Ken at that moment. That's your counter. If Kitsune misses the Z, you see them do a 360, drop Ken immediately, then you can pull it back up. Transform X. This is a dash at the opponent and the same zigzag pattern as untransform Kitsune. And if you hit, you and the opponent jump up in a lob and slam on the ground, similar to Longsword X. This move does not break instinct, so it can be instinct dodge. However, if you are grabbed, once you get slammed, that will break instinct. It leaves flames on the ground after it slams your opponent down, but those flames don't seem to do any extra damage to anybody in the area. Honestly, the best thing is just the instinct dodge. Transform Kitsune AC. This is very similar to the untransformed Kitsune AC, but just bigger. The initial hit breaks instinct and vacuums the user in for an explosion. The vacuum and explosion are Ken trickable though, so please, please, please Ken trick this. Finishing things off, Kitsune F, another stronger version of the untransformed move where you dash forward, spin attack the opponent, and they're ready to be comboed. This move does not break instinct and can be dodged, but if you do get hit, the swipes do break Ken, so it cannot be Ken trick. There's a couple more interesting quirks with Kitsune. Transform Kitsune's speed is insane. If you use Pilot Helmet, you're actually faster than light fruit. The best way to move at this point is to spam dash or dash jump and then continue jumping, kind of like the god human Z glitch. Another unique perk is that your bros can ride hey, it. Yo, and what's what really the... crazy is if you use the Buddha glitch, you can actually have your Buddha glitch bro M1 and those M1s will actually hit around you. This is like a teamer's paradise. Now offense wise, transform Kitsune is crazy. You could spam dash and M1s at a crazy speed, M1s apply burn, and you could spam moves in between. Since most of your moves either dash or send your opponent away, you can stagger dash moves with moves that send opponents away. So in this example, I spam M1 while doing Kitsune C, Kitsune X to close distance to connect the M1s, and then from there, I can just stagger different moves between the M1s, and it's really easy to kill somebody with this. So now we know the moves, and now we've done our homework. But how the f*** do we beat this thing? Now, some of you might have already fought Transform Kitsune and think it's not a problem, but try fighting a 30 million bounty player that knows what they're doing. The M1s with three tails are crazy. Once they hit me, everything breaks my instinct and stops my charging. Plus, the hitbox just doesn't make sense. I'm getting hit from like downtown. But wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Once he hits me. So at that moment, I went to the lab. The Kitsune Transform is so fast. So you could go to certain weapons, right? Like Dragon Trident or Gravity Cane because it makes it easier to trap the beast. But no, let's be real for a second. You didn't come here to hear that. You came to learn the real strategies that anyone can take away. Now, huge shout out to Puro and Josh for this. And you have to thank them because I grinded the 1v1s over and over and over with them until I realized it. When they're transformed, the worst things to deal with are the M1s because the hitbox makes no sense and keeps you stunned even when you flash step out. Plus, it applies a burn from the three-tail debuff. And on top of that, they could spam moves between the M1s. So you think, is this even beatable? That's when it hit me. If the M1s and the burning are the worst part about their kit, and they only have like one and a half moves that can break instinct, instead of saving your instinct for Kentrix, you play like an absolute noob, and you keep your instinct on. You play around the Kitsune C. When they have that up, drop your instinct, and use it to Kentrick Kitsune C. Then, once you Kentrick it, keep your instinct on, and you dodge everything. I'm telling you, it sounds crazy, but it works. Now remember, since dodges are a consumable resource, you're on borrowed time, because they can pretty much stay in transformation forever. So you need to kill them before your dodges hit zero, but it's doable. Even if they never nerf Kitsune from here forward, this gives you a fighting chance. Remember also that the M1's the strongest part of the kit. They want to get close to you. Don't play like a runner, but you need to kite them. Treat it like fighting Buddha. It's like fighting Buddha, but Buddha is slow, while well, Kitsune is faster than light, like literally. Toss combo starters at them until you get a hit. With those two tactics, I've been able to turn losing matchups into even matchups and even take in most games. Now let's see this in action. Remember the game plan. Play around Kitsune C, and once you can trick or they miss, and 
it up. Game one, I Fox Life X through Kitsune C, and now that Kitsune C is down, I keep my Ken up, and I keep an eye out for Kitsune Z miss. I fire M1s throughout since I'm a gun main and shoot for lucky punishes at the end of each dodge. I miss time to cooldowns and eat a Kitsune C, but I get better next time, I promise. Fox Z into M1 gets the first kill. All right, this time I'm ready, and I keep my Ken down until I see Kitsune C. This last one is just beautiful. It hits the Kitsune C, and I attempt to Ken and punish, but this fight is where I read my opponent's soul and discovered that the counter works. Just listen to the raw footage and see me literally time the instinct drop with his kits in AC and punish for the W. Well, I'm, it's because I'm hockeyed. Like, I've learned I have to hockey against you. So, like, now hockey's down because your C's up. Now hockey's back up. That's the counter. Well, y'all, this one was a ton of fun, and I hope you had as much fun watching it as we did making it. A lot of people to thank for this one. Box Tissues, Critical, Frog, Myth, Jubis, and Long for helping me level up Kitsune on day one in record time. Frog and Pearl for being W humans and running the 1v1. Shoutouts to Shyoct, Long R, Hyper J, and Kelia for the awesome Kitsune combos to reference and to talk about counters against it. Pearl again and Josh, thank you for letting me lab over and over against Transform Kitsune. It takes a village for these breakdowns, and y'all came through. As always, each video has a perm proof giveaway so if you're here for that leave a comment and you might win and we'll update the pinned comment to show who won in that video if you like the video hit the like button let us know what we missed in the comments or leave a comment on what you want to see us tackle next discord link below if you want to join our 1v1 community and wreck us in some 1v1 so we can just keep on improving and we'll see you again in the next deep dive